Good day everyone, I'm the Hat Hobbit and welcome back to Pine. I can't remember which episode number it is, but oh well, because we're about to enter the vault behind us. Uh, it didn't save the explosion, so very luckily we're going to see the explosion again, which I just find so fun to watch because, I mean, let's just... Can it roll? Um, okay, well, maybe it can't roll. Uh, Alright, let, let's, let's just, um, you know, just... Place this here. That'll be fine. Um, and kaboom. All right, we might as well just head straight in. Up goes the portcullis, and in we go. Album air vault. Oh, I'm excited for this. Okay. What is this? And will it electrocute me if I stand on it? Okay, no, it won't electrocute me. I don't know why I immediately fought to stand on it to try and test if it would electrocute me, but I will. So, looks like there's going to be a lot of puzzling in this. But this is going to be fantastic. Well, it looks at things. That's just amazing. Just an amazing view. I imagine we'll need to use that electrical thing for something, though. But I'm not really sure just yet what. I, I can't speak today. <laughs> but. Okay, so these. These are like the torches that we saw before in, like, Grog's place. So let's just place this down. That hasn't really seemed to do much. But I wonder, can we shoot it? Okay, so shooting does, does nothing to that. Good to know. Although it does look like we are meant to do a little bit more here. Is there something around the back? No, nothing around the back. Okay. Hmm. There must be something, right? I honestly have no idea. Like, I was just going back to look to see if I could find anything, but it doesn't look like it can. It definitely looks like I'm meant to do something with... I'm thinking here, though. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a pulse. So it's one, two, three, one, two. Okay. So one, two, three, one, two. Yes, okay. So it's this torch here. Right, okay. So if we put this in here, that should open the door, right? Or do something at least. Oh. Hey, there we go. I think that's done the trick. Yep, everything looks like it's all powering on. And the door opens. Excellent. So, we might as well head on through once we get out of this cutscene. But it looks like there's a lot more going on here than I expected. I still can't get over how beautiful this looks, though. Like, it, it's just amazing. I, I don't think we can go down there just yet, because it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we might need to do something down first. And besides, I want to explore this place a little bit more before just continuing on. So what's down here, then? Ah, hello, Mr. Bleaker. It's been a while. And I can't remember the button to Z target sort of thing. Ah, uh, well, I should be fine. If I can remember my buttons to dodge. There we go. Ow. Still, I'm not good at this combat. I've really got to remember, I have a shield. Oh, you can parry. I oh, wow, I had no idea. Okay, let's just take out this bleaker here. Excellent. So, let's see. I'm assuming we do have some inventory space left, at the very least. Um, not too much. That's not um, that's not the greatest news in the world. But at least we can look around a little bit more. So, it looks like there's another one of these torch things. Maybe they're going to sit just the ones next to them. Okay, so it looks like this is opening up the path. So, I wonder if there's any secrets. Okay, definitely no secrets here, but... Oh, well. So that's going to make... 
Uh, maybe not this one then. Oh, it's a timed system. Oh no. Unless that settles into place. Okay, we're fine. That just settles into place. That's... Ah. Uh, no, no, it is definitely a time system. All right, so let's just whack this into here. And then take this out. We'll actually bring this with us just in case. Who knows? We might need it. Jump over here. Jump over here. Wait till it comes down and settles. Jump over here. Quick, 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 quick. Jump again. Just in time. Look at that. Okie dokie. So... What have we up here, then? It's another bleaker. Oh, yippee. Alright, let's just take you out. Oh, dear. I'm exhausted. And very low in health. Uh, run away! Run away, run away, run away. Uh, I didn't mean to put you down. That's a very bad idea. Um, what can we eat? Uh, I suppose... I suppose we could probably eat some of this. Okay, it does have a little bit. That's good. Okay, and one more just to take a half bit more. There we go. Right. Come here, you. Ow. Okay, just block it. I've really got to get better at blocking. The blocking system reminds me a lot of Breath of the Wild, actually, in how it sort of functions and it's quite useful for me since well uh i've played through breath of the wild on my own before well it was before i made the youtube channel so it makes sense but like i kind of understand the timing at the very least so let's open this door here i wonder what's through here okay so another sort of puzzle room by the looks of things and what's this sort of thing over there that looks like it's been spinning round sorry i thought i heard something there and that was a uh, a little bit scary. This looks like it'll be material, so let's just break open this box. <sighs> Lots of loss and dust. So soft glass, and my pouch is full. What can I get rid of? Which I don't really need. Um, I don't think I need stiff rope at the moment, because I could always craft some more anyway, so. And I, I haven't seen much soft glass around, so that might come in handy. Ah, so this looks like it's a target, so. What does shooting this do? Okay, well, it's definitely doing something. I'm not really sure yet. I wonder what. I wonder if it'll will get an answer sort of up here. Because I mean, that's making them light up, but I'm not really sure what to do there just yet. So maybe up here will give us any answers. Oh, it does look like there's a lever, so we might as well pull this. Ah, I see. So that's the pattern. I almost fell off there. So let's get another good look at that really quickly. So we've got triple line dot, sort of, well, it's sort of like a tri half triangle with a circle and then half triangle with a percentage. All right. I think that's easy enough to do. So let's just head back down here. So, triple lines. Okay, so that's the one we're waiting for. So, we're just going to wait for that to come around. Triple line circle. Then it is that one. And then that one. Hey, awesome. All right, I imagine there's something we need to do back here again then. But I'm not exactly sure just what yet. So it does look like there's more going on here. Is that a recipe? Look, day, we lost count. The moth, the mohla, the molen? Is that how you pronounce that? Molen have been treating us very well. They made us this little workshop within the massive hollow mountain, away from the busy machinery of the molen. We are working on a tool that harnesses the electric power emitted by the mohla, molenite together with the master diggers. Although these caverns are cold, we feel right at home. That sounds like it's from a human. So it looks like maybe we'll get some well i mean it, it looks like they were successful in being able to make some things to transfer power oh cutscene cutscene 
Some kind of mural carving on the wall. Who have used to live here? They had the humans help them mine some sort of ore. Yeah, so maybe we need to get that ore and do something. Managed to hunt the emitting emit I see all around the island. That's what we've been seeing. Looks like the species went on to dig deeper, leaving the humans behind. Ah. So maybe we'll need to meet these mullins. Oh, what the heck is this? Some sort of device which might come in handy. I wonder what that's all about. It looks quite ominous, I'm going to be completely honest. Hmm. We found the conducting lantern. Use our new lantern um, triggers to set something in motion. Ah, and you can use it in combat to stagger opponents. That's going to be really useful. So, let's see what this thing can do. I believe we can do something with it down here, at least. Because that looks like it's a lantern thing, so... Perhaps what we can do is we can press on near this. Ah, excellent. So that's what it, this is used for. This is going to be useful, so... Whenever we see these lanterns, I've got to remember to press R. And we can do some stuff. Like open doors. Or move platforms like this. Awesome. Maybe, well, I wonder what's up there. Okay, so it is like a limited time thing. Good to know. Okay, let's just keep running up here. Um, is there anything down here? No, this is just where we were before. All right. So, hello, secrets. Are you secrets over here? Actually, this looks like it might be a way back. But... If I jump over here... Ow! Okay, so that does damage. What, what happens if I do that? I imagine that'll be useful. I'm glad I did that now rather than in a few seconds, but... Can I activate that from there? No, it doesn't look like I can. Hmm. So maybe there's something else I have to do first. I wonder what's around here. Uh, looks like death, so let's not go around there, shall we? Hmm. Oh, that's a target. Hold on. So if I hit this... I'm trying to figure out what this is doing. Though it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot at the moment, so... I wonder what it'll be useful for. Let's just jump over here before we get sparked. Can we hit on this side? Oh, it is doing something. Ah, I see what it's doing. Okay, can I just balance along here? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Ah, okay, I think I get it. So, if I activate this, do I have a line of sight on the thing I do. So I hit this, which activates this, which means I can jump onto this. Oh, that was close. And then this will come back down here. That's actually really clever. I like that. Alright, so we're back in a completely different room. I was about to say we we're in the same room, but this looks completely different. Alright then. So it looks like those platforms are definitely going to be something to actually get out of here. Because this is what we're doing at the moment. Just finding a way out of the vault. So we've got what was neat we needed to get from here. And maybe I should take a look at here. It looks like there's another bleak down there too. Okay. So let's see. It definitely looks like we're going to have to activate some crystals down there. I think they're crystals, right? I can't remember what they called them already. Oh dear. But it looks like we can definitely activate some stuff down there. So let's head down there and let's take a look around, shall we? Okay, so there is a lever which I think I'm going to pull. Whoa. Was that that? Looks like it was. So if we activate this, what does this last to do? Uh, uh, let's hit this target, I think. 
What does that do? Ah, I see. Uh, I'm not really sure that how that's going to help us, though. Um, well, it looks like we've got a lot of room to be playing with, in a sense. But what it's all going to be doing... So there's a target over there, which we might be able to hit from here. Ooh, very close. There we go. So this is going to be the three symbols that we need for something. So, percentage T. Uh, Alright, I've got the symbols. Alright, I know what the, which ones they are. So, I imagine we'll need to use them down here. So, let's see if we can head back over there. And maybe put them into use. I still don't know what this is for. And there's a part of me that doesn't want to play with it just yet. Oh, hold on a minute. Can I... If I hit this, can I freeze this in place, maybe? Ah, it does look like I can. That's good. That's good. So what is that going to do? Ah, okay. So that's going to start that platform going. But we still need to do the other two platforms. So we've seen the symbols, and it looks like they're going to be sticking in place now, thankfully. So it's percentage T, circle X, and circle P. No, no, um, cross by. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I do a cool jump attack thing? No, I cannot. Alright, let's just make sure not to get hit by this dude. Just two slashes there. There we go, parry it. Hey, nice. I'm really starting to get the hang of it now. Like, I, I didn't realize that I was parrying in this game, but now I know that there's parrying. Oh, this is where the fun begins. Okay, so it was that one, I think. No, it wasn't that one. Uh, it was that one, I think. Wait. What was it again? I can just check it. Okay. Um... Actually, is this actually powered yet? Because it doesn't look like it is. So, what happens if I do strike this? It doesn't actually look like it's doing anything. Which is rather annoying. But we'll, we'll, we'll just continue trying to, at least. Hmm. And even then, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to turn this final one. Oh, it looks like we can just turn this final one. All right, that, that's easy enough then. Maybe. Hello? Uh, maybe it isn't just as simple as just walking up to it and pressing R. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's the reverse order. So it's literally parallel to what this is over here. So this would be... I just wait for it to take over this one. No, that doesn't seem to do anything either. I am really confused. Like, I do not understand what on earth is going on here. Okay, so I took another look around and there was this another switch. Which looks like it is a different one of these. So maybe this will actually do something to help us. Okay, so this first one brings us to here, which is quite similar to the other one. But this one brings us over here. Which... I don't know what this one will actually do. But I imagine it's for something. Oh! Hold on, maybe it's for this thing over here. So if I go on to this top platform first, because we can just call that one back. No, not that way. I want you to go the other way. Okay, so we have number one in place. Let's just... Ah, yeah, okay, I get it now. So we need to bring the other platform over here as well. Um, I hope I can get down without taking full damage. 
No, I cannot, but I'm going to eat because we're very low on energy and I've just realized that. Okay, back to max energy and we're going to grab this off a platform again and hopefully be able to just complete this puzzle now because I think I've got it. Okay, and I've just realized we're going to have to go back to the other one anyway. So let's just very quickly go and just do that and then I'll come straight back and I'll activate this one over here. So this looks like it'll activate this, the third one. Okay. So we are getting there. I do not want to fall off, but I think I need to, unless there's something else I can do, which I can't see. And, well, well, I fell off anyway. Um, but I'm still not quite sure about the first one. Because that one is still a little bit on the confusing side for me. Oh, I get it now. It's the it's the snake heads again. They're flashing with the same thing as these. So that one is dot dash in a sense. Short, long, short, long. Okay, so this first one is that one. Yes. Okay. So the second one is short, long, long. I think. that one which has just gone by okay that's two so then the last one would be the pie one which is just going by and there we go all right so that's activated all three of those so now it should just be a matter of just running up there and getting on the lift and just jumping over the three things probably I'm not really sure. Because I imagine it won't be that easy to get out of this vault. There must be something else. Or is that my inner Zelda tingling? No! Nah! <laughs> that was not the most pleasant feeling in the world. Jump across here, then jump onto here. Nice, then jump onto this third one. Okay, and then... Just jump onto this last one over here. Excellent. And that should be this room done, I think. Yes, it is. And I think we're back out at the entrance, right? Or pretty close to it, at least. Yeah, there we go. There's the bridge. We're in the first room again. So, it should just be a matter of walking up to this. Hitting this, which brings this over here. And just walking out, right? Let's hope so. All right, back out at the entrance to the vault. And we did learn a lot of stuff. And we actually got something to be able to open some stuff, which is awesome. So what's this? This wasn't here before. To the leaders of Albemarle. Rumors had rumors that a human is back on the island seem to be true and is sniffing around the vaults. We need to take extra measures in making sure that they remain unscathed and history does not repeat. Oh, we're ready for a meeting with the Tambers to secure a proper locking mechanism. Interesting. But you found a travel kit. This allows you to quickly travel to important locations. Excellent. Oh, that's fantastic. So that is our quick, quick travel, I think. New Island State. The species on the island reacted to you exiting the vault without finding. This in fact is how hard it is to maintain a friendly and neutral relationship with the species on Albemarle. Right. So it looks like that there's a lot going on at the moment. And... The villagers might not be quite as happy with me. But unfortunately, that is about all the time that I've got for today's episode. So thank you so much for watching this today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and a comment down below as well. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing because it's completely free. You get to see more of me and you can have to subscribe at any time if you want to. But apart from that, all I have left to say is see ya, take care and bye bye.